Hello everyone, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings. Fly to this side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle. Big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side, over to the other side. Last stretch up at the top. And now let's bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Circle Time and happy Friday. I hope that you're having a great morning so far. Before we move on to the calendar and weather chart, we have three things to do. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. Hmm, my thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has a zipper underneath my chin. So I'm going to zip it up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Will you show me how to do that? Boom, 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 boom. Now I'm going to grab my pointing stick and let's go over the date together. Up at the top of the chart, we have the month. Do you remember what month it is? November. Today is November 5th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was November 4th, and today is November 5th, and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. I wonder how many days we've had so far in the month of November. Will you take out your counting fingers and count with me? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We've had five days so far in the month of November. If you keep up your five fingers like this, but you add two more fingers, now we have seven fingers and we're ready to sing the Days of the Week song. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So listen for the sound and you can tell me what the day is. Yesterday was th Thursday. So that means that today is th Friday, the last day of the weekday. Tomorrow will be th Saturday, the first day of the weekend. Let's go back and sing Today is Friday together. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday all day long. Back up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What season is it, friends? Fall, that's right, but you can also say autumn. Fall and autumn are the same season. Back down at the bottom of the chart, we have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song and then we can share what we see outside of the window today. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today, where I live, the sun is trying to shine. When I look outside of my window, it's mostly cloudy, but the sun is trying to poke through behind the clouds. And my temperature chart is on light blue because it's chilly. 
chilly and mostly cloudy with a little bit of sunshine. And what do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Because today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about this capital letter. Can you tell me the sound that this letter makes? Let's do that together. Qua. And what uppercase letter is this? Q. That's right. Q says qua. I wonder what we'll find inside of the letter box today. I have something that starts with the letter qua. Q. Here's your first clue. This is a type of an American coin. So that means that this is American money. It's silver and it's worth 25 cents. Hmm. What American coin is worth 25 cents? Let's see. This is a quarter. So a quarter is worth 25 cents. It's the color silver and George Washington's face is on the front of a quarter. Quarter starts with the letter qu, Q. This is how you write in uppercase qu, Q. One more time. Today will also be the last day talking about this double digit number. What number is this? 23. When you write the number 23, first you write the number 2, and then you write the number 3. 23. Let's count to the number 23 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 23 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Two tens, three units, 23. I'm going to take a peek inside of the number box and see what we have to count. I have a bunch of acorns. I have the acorn tops and I have so many of them that I'm going to have to make two rows. Are you ready to count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's start the second row. Twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and one more makes 23. 23 acorn tops. This week we've been saying story in sign language. Will you show me how to do that? One more time, story. So far this week, I've told you different short stories and you got to use your imagination to make the pictures inside of your head. Today, I'm going to end the week with a poem, which is made up of words that form a line rather than a sentence. Today's poem is called A Jellyfish and it's written by Marianne Moore. Visible, invisible, a fluctuating charm, an amber-colored amethyst, inhabits it, your arm, approaches, and it opens, and it closes. You have meant to catch it, and it shrivels. You abandon your intent, it opens, and it closes, and you reach for it. The blue surrounding it grows cloudy, and it floats away from you. Most jellyfish have four to eight tentacles that hang from their bell, 
which is this part of their body, right up here. I've never touched a jellyfish before because they can sting, but today we're going to make something that feels similar to what a jellyfish would feel like. For today's work, we are going to be making a simple slime recipe. I have a four ounce bottle of Elmer's glue, some saline or contact solution, baking soda, my mixing bowl, and some spoons. The first thing that I'm going to do is to pour this whole bottle of Elmer's glue into my mixing bowl. Friends, if you would like to make your slime colorful or glittery, you can also add food coloring or glitter. That's always an option. But I'm going to be sticking with this basic recipe today. And just make sure that all that glue comes out of the bottle. Next, I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of baking soda. Pour that in with the glue. And the last thing that this recipe calls for is one to three tablespoons of contact or saline solution. So I'm going to start off with two tablespoons and I can always add some more if I need to. Now that I have the glue, the baking soda, and the saline solution in the mixing bowl, I'm just going to start to stir it all together until it starts to harden and form a slimy texture. If you notice that the glue is still really sticky and not forming a slimy texture, you can always add some more contact solution or saline solution, which I'm going to do. I'll keep mixing, and now I can see that the glue is starting to lose its stickiness and form more of a slime texture. And like I said earlier, I've never touched a jellyfish before because they can sting. But if I were to touch a jellyfish, this is what I believe it would feel like. Slimy and gooey. Just like the slime recipe that we just made. And the more that I handle the slime recipe, the easier it is to form. You don't want the glue to have an overpowering texture. You want it to be sticky and gluey and gooey like this, but not too sticky where your hands stick together. Because if you notice like this, when I start to peel it off, the slime comes off fairly easily. That's the kind of texture that we're going for. And in order to get that texture, all you need to do is add more saline solution. But for now, we have a gooey slime that resembles what a jellyfish would feel like. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring services as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. It's time to wave goodbye and sing together, so let's wave like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. I hope that you've enjoyed this week's stories and poetry, and I'll see you back next week for more. Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye, everyone.